Okay. This is Cam. What's up, everyone? This is my beautiful husband. What a privilege and an honor it is to come before you. <laughs> and we are going to do like a Q&A kind of thing. Um, today is our two year anniversary. It's actually today. Today is February 14th. It is Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day to all of you guys. Are you here? Yeah, that's just crazy. Thank you for joining us. All right. So we thought, you know, instead of going out and enjoying the beautiful weather, it's snowing really bad. Canceled our plans. We were gonna have a nice little, you know, sexy dinner downtown like we have for the last two nights. I had my camera ready. I was gonna take some cool pictures of my wife. That's not happening today, but we, just we'll just do it another it day. Up. It's yeah. fine. We have all the rest of our lives. The to rest of the month. How did you guys meet? Do you wanna go first? Like the first time we met, met? Okay, story time. So our parents knew each other because my dad and his dad were friends. They're preacher friends. I met Cameron's dad first. I met Cameron's dad at my dad's birthday party. And then Cameron's dad told him about me. And my mom told me about Cameron. She told me to add him on Facebook. And so I added him on Facebook and that's how we met. But yeah, basically our parents hooked us up. So we were set up. Kids? Yes. <laughs> we answered this question we're last. Gonna, we're gonna have kids. We're gonna have kids. Three probably. Hey girl, love your channel. What is the best? way slash time to tell a man you are choosing to wait till marriage what? i don't remember having that conversation but it was just I like, feel like it just happened naturally like i didn't it wasn't like a anticipated kind of thing yeah like, i mean it wasn't like a oh my god listen no you need to know by that time we had told each other like our whole life story and stuff so he pretty much knew enough about me to just know that that's how it was does that make sense? And she was a thug, so. I was a thug, but we were we were friends before we started dating. I feel like we were already comfortable enough to just talk about stuff like that. If it's awkward like that, then y'all need to get to know each other a little better. Uh, when did you realize you were in love with each other? And happy Valentine's Day. What's crazy is, like, I had no intentions of marrying her. I just was like, you know, it, she's like a super dope friend and like the conversation and stuff that we had it was like way different than any other conversation that I had in any previous relationships previous girlfriends I was friends with them just to get to know who they were before I started dating them whereas whereas with me and her like we, we were just no friends we yeah no we didn't we, there was no ulterior motives there was no we didn't have any intentions on, on being in any, any kind of relationship it was just simply a friendship type deal. And then once like we got deeper into being friends over a year and a half or whatever, it was like, man, like, do I like you? But like deep down, I knew like it was like love. And I had to bring out the like first, you know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't want to be skipping steps and everything, you know what I'm saying? So that's what um, it was I just remember waking up one day thinking about a future. And I was never like in tune with my feelings like that. I didn't know what I felt to be honest, I just knew what I wanted. And what I wanted was I wanted to get married and build a life together. This this must be love because I'm about to move and I'm about to leave my family and all this stuff and like making all these decisions. And it was like, whoa, I have feelings. <laughs> what? Where did this come from? I just was like, let's do this. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I think there were a couple of times where I like sent you a video or something and I was like, I actually really like love you and this is weird because I don't know how to handle She was this. really feeling the kid, you know what I'm saying? Like she tried to play it like she really didn't, but you know what I'm saying? We all know the truth, so. Happy oh. Valentine's Day. Are people still in your ovaries? I remember you tweeted that phrase a while ago about who in your ovaries. Are they still in your ovaries? Yeah. It just comes with the territory. It comes with the when territory, man. Uh, and you can, you can be married for the first five years. If you don't have kids yet, people are always going to be like, so, all right, so when when you go ahead and baby? And people have all. been in my eggs mm -hmm. since the day we walked down the aisle. They were like, yep, come back from your honeymoon with some babies. Like, I mean, that's just it how is, it is. It just is what it I'm is. I'm used to it. Yeah. That practice, though. No. <laughs> 
What is your best Valentine's Day memory? Getting married? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Getting married. 2 14 14. That was the first time we actually spent Valentine's Day together. Because before we were long distance, so we never got to spend Valentine's Day together. When will I do Life of the I know a lot of people are going to ask for Life of the Logans. I'm going to do it when it's coming it back stops soon. being so boring. And Life with the Logans. Soon come. Soon come. Unless y'all want to see us Netflix and chill. Which is what we've been doing yeah, for the past all month. Because we, I get home, we watch Flash. Right. Watch and Flash and go to sleep. And go to sleep. But and eat. Yeah, eat. That's watch it. Watch Flash, go to sleep. I see him maybe four hours out of the day. Are we going to do a house tour? No. But I do want to do like house related stuff. Homeware hauls and I'll do stuff in my kitchen sometime maybe. But we're in the renovating process. Like none of this is going to look like this within the next six months. So, give me time. How did you know you wanted to get married to each other when it was the right time? Or when did we know it was the right time to get married, I guess? There, it was like a season in our lives where it was like, okay, where do we go from here? We have been dating for three years. A decision needs to be made. I'm not gonna keep dating this girl and we're just gonna be dating for years and years and years. Like, no, and it's like, don't waste my time. Can I do this for the rest of my life or can I not? And so, I felt that I could do this for the rest of my life. So that could be like a real like scary time. For me, it was like super scary. Cause I'm like, yo, this is like the biggest decision I'm gonna have to make in my life. I was ready from the moment he said, I wanna marry you, which was like a year into us dating. And I was like, okay, just let me know when I'm ready. Oh, just wondering what your necklace says and why you always wear it. This is a necklace um, that has my Roman numeral wedding date on it so it's can't see it but <laughs> it has my wedding date in roman numerals so yeah that's why i always wear it because it's close to my 14, 14. and it's from be happy live pink by the way i'll put a link in the description box where you can find it it's from what be happy live pink be happy live pink before you two got married was there a time when you thought you were never going to get married no. When we were together, I was pretty sure I was gonna marry you. But but before but, then, but before we even started talking or dating, I never thought that there'd be a time where I didn't get married. Not not to be arrogant or guy here. No. You know, yeah. I'm a pretty handsome dude. So my parents have been married my whole life. So um, marriage has always been something that I've wanted. And if it wasn't gonna be with him, it was gonna be with somebody. So um, oh Nicole, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Loyal. <laughs> Never play yourself. Buy your mama a house. Buy your family house. And we're back. Entertainment 720. <laughs> Alright, let me start doing you be going to so. How were you? confident that you guys were meant to be being so young did you ever doubt your love for each other it's it's kind of it's a mix of confidence and a step of faith at the same time and being young really doesn't have anything to do with it, it it's really all based on your level of maturity and so we understand that you know there's going to be sacrifice and there's going to be times where we're not going to like each other so much and there's going to be times where we're going to get on each other's nerves but you know love is not a feeling love is a choice you have to choose Everything we did was more choosing and not about feeling. I think if you feel too much, you will start doubting. Like I never let my mind start thinking about how I felt that day or that moment. I never let it change my feelings about him as a whole because I wouldn't let my feelings even get in the way of what I know. Line up the facts and see, is this person a good person or is this person not a good person? Do they have potential or do they not have potential? And it's like, even if I don't like you that day, I still know who you are as a person. So over time, growing to know him and seeing the things that he would do and the way he acted and like the way he would treat me. So it, it wasn't like I knew all at once, like we were meant to be together from the beginning. I saw you like, no, like it took time for me to know that, but it only got stronger as we went on in our relationship. Slowly, I started seeing things that would let me know that he was the one. Next one from, isn't she lovely? <laughs> How did you prepare yourself to be a wife? Thank you. I didn't. Your parents prepared you though. 
Yeah, my mm. whole life was preparing. Just because I think what prepared me for being a wife was always being around a wife, a happy wife, a wife who loved her husband. That prepared me just being around her, like never seeing her like fight my dad or you know cuss him out. You know she cooked and cleaned for him even when she he, she was pissed off at him when she was. PMSing and even when she was super angry and hated everybody in the house, she still did her job as a wife. And so I always saw that consistency. So that I just knew how to, it just kicked in because I was like, oh, what would my mom do? How do I get in touch slash connect with God again? So prayer and fasting, I would say, you're never going to build a connection with something that you don't take time out of right. to spend time with. Like, I like basketball. I'll never be good at basketball if I don't take the time to spend playing basketball by myself when other people aren't around. I'm never gonna be good at being a minister, being a pastor, being a youth leader if I don't take the time to study to show myself approved. So you you get what you put out. You're not gonna have a connection with God if you don't take the time to talk to him, spend time with him, read his word, read his instructions. Here's the unbeat face and the sound to girls top. <laughs> Wedding prep and marriage itself. Wedding prep. <laughs> Do absolutely nothing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's what he did. You I have a whole again. video. You can check out her video and we'll link it right there. I have a whole video uh, talking about like wedding prep, hard, about how to plan a wedding. Um, I hope it helps. Marriage advice? Like general marriage advice? This is our this is our second year and I love her more now than I did in the first year. It sounds crazy, but it's true. Like in the first year, communication is key. Key. If you communicated all the time, like while you guys were dating, you still gotta keep that same level of communication when you guys are married, even though you're living together. Because there's some things that your wife might be going through that, that she's not necessarily gonna tell you. You have to try to pull that information out of her. And then there's some things where the husband, he might be going through some stuff that he might not necessarily wanna talk about. And you guys have to both know each other enough to say, Okay, what's going on? Maybe we need to sit down and talk. Maybe we need to, we've had those moments. Listen, you're gonna sit down and we're gonna sit down and we're gonna talk about this thing and we're gonna figure out what's wrong and we're gonna fix it and we're gonna move on from it and that's that's gonna be what it is. I've had to do that, you know, myself. He had to do that with me a lot because I was, I was stubborn and didn't want to talk about nothing. Communication. 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 Hey guys, what's one thing y'all love about each other the most? And what's something that annoys y'all the most about each other? One thing I love about you the most. I mean, there's so many things. Which one do I choose? Uh, what I love about Cameron the most is he's a really likable person. He's just a like just good guy. Like man, he's just he's really nice and he makes you laugh. I get excited to be around him because he's fun. Like he's not boring. He's not like super deep and like make himself look bigger than he is. Like no, he's just cool. He's just fun to be around. He, always lifts my spirits. Thank you. You're welcome. One thing, one of several <laughs> million things that I love about my wife, she really makes me want to be the best creative I can be. Like my wife is creative and I'm creative as well, but she makes me want to bring my creativity to another level and just kill it in all aspects. Like, and she's Sweet. always yes. super supportive. <laughs> That like whatever that I'm doing and the support of a wife means everything to a husband. That's one thing I love. She's so supportive and she's so beautiful. She's just Oh my god, stop. So amazing. Okay, so what's one thing that I, that I do that annoys you? Her breathing is extremely <laughs> strong. She holds her breath and then she's like <sighs> And I'd be like, dude, what are you doing? I was not. She'd be holding her breath. Then I catch myself, I'd be like, dude, I'm like <laughs> My okay. breathing started going crazy because I'm trying to breathe harder for her because she's not breathing. Kevin does little things that annoy me here and there that just irritate me. But I, <laughs> right now it's it's the moving basketball hoop that follows me around the house <laughs> that annoys me because it's like, dude, I give you one specific area of the house where you can hoop, but somehow it makes it downstairs. Every time I come Not out of the room, it hits me. Not every time she's being dramatic. It hits me all the time. He likes she's to hit being me. being so dramatic. No. This is blinking back and forth from video That means text. it's, yeah. My lord, I ain't never seen nothing like that, baby. My god. <laughs> oh, my question is, how long were you and Cameron dating before you guys got married? Three, Three years. years. Uh, is it hard being young and married? No. Mm -mm. I love it. 
Yes, we're gonna start vlogging oh soon. Shout out to you from Canada, friend of six. So happy Valentine's Day and anniversary to you guys. So my question for both of you is, how do you keep your relationship strong and long lasting? Well, we've only been together well, two years. <laughs> it's so been, well, it's been <laughs> two years. Uh, but up until this point, what's kept us together is laughing. Laughing, man. For real. Like, real talk. I'm funny. And I hate seeing people not happy. So I use my humor to bring out the joy in people. Like, I've always been one of those people. Like, I like to see people smiling. I like to see people laughing. When it's someone as beautiful and as loving and caring as this young lady is, how, why wouldn't I want to see her smile? Smile, baby. Just go ahead. Show fine self. So that's all I gotta do. That's all I gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Like, easy. You know what I'm saying? Just keep that smile going, especially when her lip gloss is popping. You know what I'm saying? She got the beat face and she got the smoky eye. You know, the smoky eye do something to me, so. You need to, to stop that. <laughs> um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just minister to her oh, real quick. Okay. If you take a week, and let's say you guys are, have been married for 52 years, and every week you spend each year for the rest of your lives that you're married, you will have spent a whole year <laughs> being mad for nothing. You wasted a whole, a year, whole year being mad. Out of the 52 years you've been married, you wasted a year. Can you imagine what you could have been doing with that year? You could have started a business plan during that year. You could have made some money during that year. But what are you doing? You're wasting time, being mad, not taking the initiative to fix the situation, but instead you wanted to be emotionally captivated. That ain't right. We've had like three arguments since we've dated. Like, we don't... I don't want to say that we don't argue, but I feel like we don't have arguments to where we're mad at each other for long periods of time. Like, we just, I, nothing will let me get to that point. I'm not an angry person. Like, I don't like being upset. And he knows when I'm upset. And if I'm upset, we work it out immediately. There was one time where I've let me being mad linger. I fixed that. We don't argue, like, face to face. Like, mm, I don't be all up in his face. Pointing fingers. I, I don't do that. I don't. I don't do that. Listen. If I'm mad at him, I will go somewhere else. I will get in the car and drive off and go somewhere. I will call my mom. Mom. Blah 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 blah. I should be like Vicky. Talk to him. Did you talk to him? Did you pray about it? And then I. That's we we talk. Is what and then we squash it and we move on. Caitlin. Caitlin. Hi Vicky and Cam. We have a question. Alex wants to ask it. Vicky, when are you gonna start wearing your boots? When are you gonna wear your boots? Slash my kick on. The second part was when can you go on a double date? Shout out to shout out to Caitlin and Alex. They're like one of our favorite little couples, man. They're they're awesome. Caitlin and is super sweet. She's the one who works at Kiehl's. She's super nice. And they're both just just beautiful people. I love it. We can go on a double date whenever, man. Triple date whenever. And whenever you know the plug esmchicago.com. Whenever the plug, that's where we get our exclusive, our exclusive sneakers. Sneakers. Whenever that happens, link in the you guys are looking for exclusive sneakers. You need a sneaker in the Chicago connect. Land area, but they ship worldwide. Then, whenever she gets her boost, then they will be on her feet, and the plug will be repped. Hey Vicky, hey Cam. So, hey. Um, my question is, Stop. how do you guys deal with? Well, how did you deal with um, being single as a Christian? And not that I'm saying like because you're a Christian, it's extra difficult to be single. date until I was 18 and by that time I had met Cameron so I, I never really like was on the market to be 100% honest um, while I was in college um, uh, I wasn't the best person and I had just recently got out of a relationship like right before we started like being cool it's, it was it was challenging um, but you have to decide to not put yourself in any compromising positions during that time period and, and there's gonna be you know, people that approach you and, and people that want to get with you and, and all that jazz, especially 
If you're young, you're attractive, you're smart, you're intelligent, and you're on a college campus with a whole bunch of horny young adolescent <laughs> teens, you have to let your commitment to God be stronger than your temporary satisfaction. Hi guys, um, this is a question for both of you. I'm sorry it looks so rough, but um, at what point did you guys figure out that you were the one? Not to blood from the... I love people with Hi guys, um, one last question. What advice would you give to singletons like myself? Who you are still trying to live, you know, God's way. Oh, we need to go to the UK. I really do want to go, low key. I um, love all of my UK followers. But shout out to you, J Janet. Um, so we answered the first question, but the second question is, how, what advice would we give to singletons? That's funny. Uh, advice, man, just just wait on the Lord, man. God's timing is everything. Like definitely. Like it was God's timing for us to get married. And when everyone says, when are you guys having a child? When is God's timing? I don't want you know? anything that I'm not ready for. Exactly. So. so don't be expecting your husband to be everything that you uh, uh, dreamed and imagined. He's not going to be packaged the way you think. Oh, not at all. He's going to be packaged the way God knows uh, is best for you. My advice would be to stop worrying about it and get busy uh, working on yourself and doing you, boo, until... Whoever he is shows up. Well, if you're just sitting there worried about it, then it's not gonna happen because that's all you're focused on. If you're not content being single, then you won't be content married. You gotta have to get to the point where you're good enough by yourself to where if somebody came, you'd be cool, but if somebody didn't come, you'd still be all right for a little while. Get yourself in order, do what you gotta do, enjoy yourself being single. Excellent. How do you like your new place? I love you. Can Cameron sing, please? There you go. How do you guys motivate each other? Uh, I motivate Cameron by, I don't know, how do I motivate you? Yeah, I think I have to We should answer, answer that for each other, yeah. What was she finna do that? She motivates I me. I know how to motivate she, she, oh, okay. You gotta take subtle clues, you know, from, from what your significant other says. My wife wants me to stay fit, so she'll be like, I don't want you to have a gut, or you gonna, <laughs> or you getting a gut, or whatever, and it's like, okay, that's my key to get motivated because I always want to be attractive to my wife. So I'm going to make sure I do whatever I can to continue to be attractive to my wife. Cameron motivates me like he literally like tells me to do stuff and then that's what motivates me. Like, <laughs> Cameron is a specific person. He's very detailed and he's very precise. So when he says something, he means it. So if he wants me to work out, he'll be like, you know, you should work out. And I'll be like, you know what? You're right. I should probably, and, and that'll motivate me. Like if I'm feeling down on myself, he'll like motivate me by making me put on some makeup and going somewhere. He's real direct with his motivation. Like this is it. This is what it is. This is what we're gonna do. Not that, not that it's forceful, but I like it like that. A question for both you and Cameron. I was wondering what qualities do you guys bring out in each other? She makes me want to, to work harder to hustle harder. Even though we're a team, she makes money too, and she wants to help. I may have paid all the bills, and I, we can't do date night the way I would want to do it. She'd be like, babe, I can do this. I got this too. And that's like, yo, that's super dope to me. The way that she would want to pitch in, she doesn't feel like entitled that I have to pay for that too. That's super dope to me. I want to I wanna treat us to dinner. I want to take us out. I want to take us on a vacation. He just makes me want to like, do better about my finances and save money and I'm not gonna toot my own horn, but I'm gonna toot my own horn. I'm better at him when it comes to finances. Like I'm good. But and I do I do work like an hour, I work like an hour away. I be having to pay gas money and then at work I be having to buy lunch and stuff because you don't be making any lunches and it be super expensive, so don't even play. I'm not playing I'm just saying, and then like, I be having to, you know what I'm saying? I go to the gym, like I do stuff, like you be in the house, so you don't I go to the gym, nobody be, you don't go like I go. Like I'm about to get a membership. extra gas money, be in your little account and whatever. You know what I'm but saying? I'm about to get a membership though. Listen, so don't even try to do me. Whatever because I think no, I'm gonna go Netflix. Listen, I pay for your Actually she's she's she is better than me. She's better than me at handling I keep uh, our receipts, okay? That's I have why, three, three that's why a husband and a wife are a great account. team. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have a team, man. <laughs> Cause I got a really big team. <laughs> Oh. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Cam. So oh, she's in it to both of us. Cam, how do you kind of decipher what guys are being genuine and what guys are not? That was the other oh, yeah, that was the other like, I'm... Guys are getting really things or guys are getting smarter on what they want to tell girls, what girls want to hear, and they're not really being 100% genuine. Listen, listen to me and hear me closely, my dear brothers and sisters. A young man will always tell you what you want to hear, but it is up to you to decipher if he's 
being honest or if he's BSing. And by BSing, I mean BSing. <laughs> we all gonna be honest and be real, right? You can tell when a guy is complimenting you because he wants your draws. You can tell when a guy is complimenting you because he genuinely means that. There was this one guy and he would always compliment me every single day. And the way he complimented me was how I knew that he just wanted some for me. This is the guy that gave me his mixtape after he invited me to his house. He would always see me and he'd be like, hey little mama, how you? Like he would literally stroke my chin and be like, hey, how you doing? Like this touchiness right here lets me know everything I need to know about what she wants from me. He would stroke my chin every time he saw me. He'd be like, hey. I never knew that. Yes, babe, that was before we were dating. Um, but, <laughs> but like that kind that's of thing, it's, it's really about like your discernment. I feel like that's where the friendship thing comes in, which is why I always say, do not go on a date with somebody until you guys are friends and you know that person well enough to take you on a date. Because if you're friends with somebody, you'll know when they're being genuine or not because you're friends with them. Like you don't not know your friends. Like you're not friends with people that you don't know. You can't tell if they're being nice or they're being fake. Like why would you want fake friends? Like you can't just be like, you know, saying yes to anybody. You Take the time out to get to know people and be friends with them beyond how you feel. You gotta and be if, friends, you, if you're you friends first, cool, and if you, you gotta be wiser. that'll weed out all the guys that just want something else from you other than genuine relationship. Okay, this is a question for Cameron. What do you shop at? She said, help my bae get his swag on. Man. Vicky really helped, like Vicky, I mean, you know what I'm saying, you see your boy, like, you see all this ice? Oh my God. You know what I'm saying, like, you see me? Like, this is all, you know what I'm saying, thanks to Shorty right here, man, like. Girls from the past always said I dress very nice, but she made me bring it up. Like, I used to be like right here, and she made me bring it up like here, fam. Just seeing like how she carries herself, and, like when we go on dates, it's just like, dude, I'm gonna step my game up. And uh, so I shop at like Zara, H&M, ASOS sometimes, but it depends because River Island. Because I'm a black man, and I can't wear a lot of their jeans because I'm a black man. You put me on. Oh. And I am on to oh, she finna smash that to Lenti. Greatness. <laughs> to Lenti. Oh, she's about to eat it on camera. Eat, girl. Eat. We used to send a lot of uh, 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 videos mm -hmm. like all the time. This is before FaceTime you didn't have FaceTime. was out. So we used to send like video messages back and forth. Every night we got on Skype. We would fall asleep on Skype, wake up. Oh, you still here? I wouldn't hang up. I'd be like, oh, she's still on. Plug my little computer up. You know, and now those kind of things, when we look back on them now, it's like, man, we, should do, we used to go to that extent to make sure we stay man, connected. That sucks. You know, and so. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Shout out to you. Shout out to anybody that supports this girl right here. Because I just want to let y'all know. I'm like her manager and I be going through the comments. I read the comments in her videos. And I go hard for my baby. You know what I'm saying? I wish I would talk crazy to my baby. You know what I'm saying? Coming at you. You know what I'm saying? Thank you guys for, for supporting my wife. That's super dope. Do you think couples should go 50-50 in bills when living together or let the guy pay for everything? Whatever situation Whatever works, works for, for you, you all. Whatever works for you. What advice do you have for newlyweds? Communication. Date your wife like you dated her when y'all, when you was trying to get with Whatever her. Whatever standard you set when y'all was dating, you gotta go above that. <laughs> and then laugh. Laugh. The Bible says a merry heart doeth good like a medicine. So anytime you're going through situations, you gotta work through those, but then you gotta laugh so that laughter can do good into the body like a medicine. Mm, mm. My God. What quality does Cam have that you want your kids to have? What quality does Vicky have that you want your kids to have? I want my kids to be as caring as Vicky. Extremely family oriented and it's made me want to be like that the same way. Like That's why I want us to have like a big family so when we get a bigger house then we can have all the family home. Because she's very like, I miss my family. And then we go back with her family then it's like this big, big family thing. And I love that. 
Uh, I want my kids to have Cameron's sense of humor, and I want them to be fun and, and nice. Yeah, I want my kids to have my personality. We both agree on that. But I want my kids to have my eyebrows and... What's wrong, what's wrong with my eyebrows? I like my eyebrows better. You see these? No. And I love you, but I like my I eyebrows. I want my kids to have my wife's intelligence. My wife is way smarter than me. I'm not. Don't say that. You're smart. I'm like, book smart, but yeah. he's common sense smart. Yeah, I want them to have Let's her have book smarts with my common sense smart, they'll be the most smart kids <laughs> in all the world. With my musical talent and my athletic, or well, both of our athletic ability. My wife and my athletic. artsiness. I'm very artsy. I think that's 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 gonna be it. We got a whole bunch more questions. We might be we might do a two part. Uh, I mean a two part. A part two. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe a couple weeks from now. Maybe a year from now. Maybe two years from now. Thank you all for sending in your questions. God bless. Love ya.